All right. This is the fourth video we're doing for our uh, series of analysis, and we are um, watching another conflict match between two relatively unknown clans, um, BBH, which stands for Big Black Hawks, and that was Yukavis's clan. It's pretty short-lived clan. Well, they didn't really do anything. <laughs> and, um, between DM, which I have no idea what DM is, all I know is that Hippie was on the team. So I guess he was subbing or something. And I'm assuming the leader was Numbers, um, who nobody remembers either. Yeah, I don't know so, any of these players. <laughs> yeah, I don't. we don't know many of these players. Anyway, the players are as follows. For BBH, it was Yukaviz, Rivo, Nutella, and Exploding Waffles. And for DM, it was Numbers, Hippie, Sergeant Brown, and Exter7856. We'll just call him Exter, I guess. All right. But the chances are I'm just going to end up calling them by their classes. So yeah, we're not going to be able to really keep track because we don't know what classes they're playing anyway. All right. So let's let's start. We got L map. Everybody getting in. Okay. So I know I know Rivo's playing the heavy at least. Who's playing the runner? All right. So looks like we're going Deto for blue team instead of yeah. the standard rockets. We got a runner confrontation coming up. Always runner with low ground usually has like this advantage here, but he managed to get out of there, exploding waffles. Wow. And I don't know even know where the rest of their team was. They all died. That's the problem right here is that if you're going a uh, like a three man core versus another three man core, you definitely have to hold them off, or else, uh, like you're just leaving too much uh, responsibility to your runner to defend the back half. Yukovis caught Hippie as he was trying to defend. Well, at least trying to like make it a one-for-one. One. Uh, looks like the Red Runner is going back in the tunnel right now. Uh, overweight responds, and he notices that. So That was a good he probably, catch. He probably shouldn't have dropped back in here. I never like when um, rocket men stand on top of that little ledge and try to spam rockets at the general area of the intel. It's better to just go in there and then like actually, actually aim. aim shots. Yeah. It's it, only it useful in like public games where you ha you know yeah. there's gonna be like ng nests in there or whatever. Yeah. You just want points. You want to at least like like know who you're hitting. Like off screen spamming in competitive matches never really works out that well. Yeah. Only time it oh. really works out is if if uh, you're biting for time. So it looks like the red rocket was just sitting there doing nothing. I like how he was a little indecisive about grabbing the intel. Yeah. <laughs> Cost him like half a second. He could have got out if he just grabbed it. And look, he was he was AFK for so long, yet he still manages to get back in without dying. Nobody killed him, and he takes out both um, the medic and the overweight. That was pretty stupid. That's when you can't be uh, honorable. If he's just sitting there, just kill him. Like, yeah. Let him be AFK in his spawn. Don't just let him come back into the game. Yeah. So definitely a mistake right there. Like, no one's going to judge you poorly. Yeah, score. You could. Uh, BBH is on red. Score right now is one zero for red. I'm feeling that Hippie can't really carry these unknown players that well, right. and Yukaviz at least seems to be a solid rocket man, and Exploding Waffle is a solid runner. So, and they don't seem to be like th their detonator, which is numbers, yeah, doesn't seem to know really what he's doing. doing anything. I'd rather see him just switch to rockets, like. It even yeah. if you're not good at aiming, you'll still be able to get like random hits on the overweight, and that will help turn the tides of your uh, overweight versus overweight battle. That was pretty good by Hippie trying to stop that cap, but he was too far, far in to really defend against it, especially just as a runner. Yeah. Dano pulls his weight there, but of course he's going to get the kill because you have a meat shield there. Um, Loading Waffles AFK. They did the right thing and killed him. Yeah. See the the problem with his de his detonator and at least in that situation is like he's one of those detonators who only does like those aerial, yeah, like the one after another aerial shots. And that's never really that effective. Oh wow, he's actually trying to trigger up there. That was pretty smart. Nice, I actually like that. Yeah, take out the medic like that. Now Yukaviz is gonna be kind of screwed here. Right over here, he's gonna die pretty quick. Now we got them trying to stop the heavy. That was kind of... Oh, Hippie. Hippie was pretty confident there, but he wasn't able to get out. Right. 
So uh, Yukov is dying over on that side. I actually bought them a little bit of time for their overweight and healer to get into position. That wasn't a good idea by Sergeant Brown when the heavy got out of the out of the line of fire. He just kept his he just kept firing and just kept trying to walk while he was firing. Yeah. So and you can definitely you don't want to do that. Like right here, uh, I'm gonna pause right here. Uh, if you look Sorry. right here, like uh, your healer, he can't actually heal you if you keep advancing right here. He's gonna yeah. have to get into the line of fire, so you're risking your healer's life just to try to get more damage in. So yeah, that's not. It's never always better do. to retreat than try to go for a kill, and you're you're never sure of how much health they have. Okay, so numbers is sticky carpeting the intel room. How viable do you see that strategy in a competitive match like this? Um, never on the intel. If you're gonna sticky carpet, like I would say. Uh, like do it around this like underneath this crate here and right yeah. here because they don't have rockets to destroy them right so it prevents you want to use a sticky carpet like I see a sticky carpet only really like um like uh you know useful when you want to stop a heavy medic in its tracks while there's no rocket man yeah so like they're kind of forced to find a different way around it I see at that point it's better for the detonator to actually come out and help just hit more stickies against the runner because then you'll, you'll actually score the kill instead of hope, hoping that he doesn't get the intel. If you want to play Dito and Detonator um, in a like a competitive match, you have to be like extremely confident in like your skills as a Detonator because often if the rest of the team dies, like you need to know what to do in the situ in that situation. Yeah, look, and that's what, really look what's just... happening right here right now. Um, he was just sitting in spawn waiting with his sticky carpet while the rest of his team was getting murked. So yeah. He does get a couple good hits in, and looks like the runner does take him out. I would just retreat back here, yeah. I wouldn't just try to like try to break out. Oh, that was a nice shot by Yuko. I think he should actually go take the top route again, but... Okay, he is. He is. And I don't think... Oh. They were waiting for him. That's good. It's kind of um, similar to something like uh, Koth... Uh, what is it? Kistra? Yeah, like CP Kistra, where you CP don't want to overextend, right? Yeah. Because then you give up your position, and looks like he gets right, the definitely. cap anyways. Yeah, definitely going to be 3-1 here. That was unnecessary. What was the point of that? Yeah. <laughs> like, he, now it's... first of all, he didn't have to turn back to go down, and then he didn't ha when he was down there, he didn't have to go back up, so... I don't like pointless. the way the heavy, the overweight was just standing there and kind of aiming, like twitch aiming. He wasn't really doing anything. He should, like, at least try to jump a little, yeah. get more ground covered. Yeah. Just kind of a sitting duck if you're just standing in one place and shooting. And, I, like, it's it's kind of stupid what he does. Even He shoots constantly even when he's aiming at the ground and yeah. just keeps moving while he's aiming at the ground and shooting. So all you're basically doing is handicapping yourself. Yeah, you're just slowing yourself down. Oh, looks like it's going to be 4-1 again. See, this this detonator doesn't really know how to defend all that well. And once like, they get too far away from you, aerials aren't really going to yeah, do anything. That's true. It's just pushing them back anyways. I think at this point, it's better for him to just switch to NG. If you're going to play defense like this anyways. Yeah, at least use a more like mobile, more like effective class, like... Detonator, he he can he has his defensive merits, but like once they break through, he's kind of like shit because like close to range. At that point, it's just it's more effective to actually join the fight and throw in uh, stickies against the medic. Okay, he than switched to rocket man waiting. finally. Yeah. Some C threes because they know they're kind of fucked. And this medic's gonna he's trying to scoot out of here. The runner should be able to catch up. That was kind of yeah. At least if you could get it to like the the middle mid ground, it's much easier to get. Once if it's trapped down there, it's hard to get back. I don't Might know why well Sergeant wait. Brown he retreated back here. If anything, I wouldn't even he try to. Yeah, he should have oh, just dropped saying? into this tunnel here. Yeah. When I when the intel is like in the bottom area here, well they did they had a pretty good idea pushing like that, but um. What's it called? Uh, yeah, that was kind of smart. Wow. He went for the auto gun rather than trying to kill... Uh, they're kind of... Yeah, they're exploiting Sergeant Brown's weakness right now because he's not yeah. very good at overweight. He really shoots at things that when he shouldn't. Or he okay, just... so this is going to be extremely hard for them to defend. It's always hard to defend once they get the intel there because they can just kind of just like kamikaze at it and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. 
kind of clusterfuck. I don't even know what's going on right now. Uh, Blue's got the intel and they're getting it out, but Red is fucking... Yeah. He, they're failing pretty hard at trying to get this with a rocket jump. But yep, they, they will it. clinch the win right here. Let's pause Some, right here. Take a look yeah, at the I score. guess that... Uh, Raiko, or whoever that was. Is that, that was Hippie. Hippie. Yeah, he was pulling his weight, but uh, unfortunately, like, numbers was being really useless. Yeah, 16 but, points. Uh, uh, exploding waffles with 12 points as the runner. Even though he actually did a lot of, he did some pretty useful work. So I guess that just goes to say that points don't necessarily mean, if you have low, a low amount of points, you, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not doing your work. Oh, another thing I want to point out, like down here, if you're not going to do a full push like uh, Red Team did, because they did send their medic in, sometimes it's better to just like use that as a decoy and then yeah. just cap the, uh, the top point again. I also want to say when the uh, I didn't really get my thoughts out on it when the intel's in that lower area like under the enemy spawn um, Usually they'll they'll start camping it and since they usually devote like a lot of resources just to camping there You can usually just take up top and wait for the intel to reset and yeah, then you can just yeah. grab and just get out of there Definitely You can it's maybe so send easier. in like one runner as a decoy and be like yo We're going in hard yeah. for this because we're sending a runner in but in actuality you got your medic He's just chilling up top. So yeah yeah, that's uh, another conflict match. BBH versus DM. BBH takes it. We still don't know what DM means. Yeah, I have no idea. So they <laughs> take it 5-2. All right.